This is Roger Simon for Pajamas Media, where it's a hard day in the election in California. Look, take a look at what, what's going on here, where it's about 93 degrees in L.A., and the people are by the pool uh, waiting for Arnold at the, at, at the Beverly Hilton. What a hard life we Californians have. Pity us. Meanwhile, we have to wait just a little while, because very shortly, the uh, CHP is going to throw us all out of here and uh, poor us will have to jump in the pool and, as they do a security check. Three o'clock, we were all asked to leave so the California Highway Patrol could do a sweep of the area. Here are, here are all the, uh, the press people leaving. That's right, Brian. How's it going? The security here has been not as tight as expected, but given the fact that it's Arnold, no one is taking any chances. This is Roger Simon for Jamas Media. Now we're back. We've had the security check. Night has fallen here in the land of Glitz. And here is Bill Bradley again with Matthew Dowd. Give a, go ahead, Bill. It's Matthew Dowd, chief strategist for Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, former top strategist and pollster for President Bush. We're talking about uh, whether or not uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's prospective victory here tonight, which has not yet occurred officially, uh, is in fact a possible model uh, for Republicans around the country. Because this is turning out to be a somewhat difficult night for Republicans. What do you think uh, about the possibility of Arnold being a model? Well, I think if he wins, which we are fairly confident he will, uh, that it's going to be a mandate for bipartisanship and consensus building and that type of leadership. Not a specific issue, uh, but more about consensus building and bipartisanship. And I think it's in direct contrast with what people have seen in Washington. And part of the reason why he's done so well is that uh, he's built that different from what's happened in Washington, Democratic, Republican. And there's a wave that looks like it hit all over the country, with the exception of the governor's race in California. And possibly a couple other races here as well. Uh, Arnold's a much more independent uh, sort of politician. Uh, you've worked with a lot of these big politicians. How do you compare him with some of the others? You know, every one of them is different. Every one of the politicians is very different. Um, he has a, you know, comes in it with celebrity. He has a force of personality. But interestingly enough, the sort of where he's risen from over the past year had nothing really to do with celebrity, mm -hmm. and that it had everything to do with the brand of leadership and the type of governance he did. And so I think all politicians could actually learn from it. And I think many will look, as many people do in politics, they look at success and then try to repeat it. Mm -hmm. And I think that is what sort of helped him out uh, from his own sort of place was not his celebrity, mm -hmm. but his style of governance. Right. When you and Steve Schmidt, another top veteran of the Bush Cheney campaign of 04, came out here in early this year, things were in somewhat disarray. The governor had a very low job approval rating. His favorability rating was down. Uh, people really doubted him. Uh, how did you guys uh, work to turn this around? Well, the beginning of the turnaround started with uh, the governor in the aftermath of the initiatives, uh, where he said he's learning. Um, he probably didn't do it the right way. He's going to do better. That was the mm -hmm. start. You know, we were, the governor's job approval was in the low 30s, and we were seven, six, seven down in January. And I think just his, what he did with the legislature was a huge help. And then having an opponent who was very partisan, while the governor was very bipartisan, was a huge help. And we, you know, tried to run a campaign that reflected that, mm -hmm. uh, that reflected who the governor was, was who he was. There was the jacket that he liked to wear. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, it looks like it's going to do very well. We'll wait and see, but it looks like it's going to be successful. Right. Now, if Steve Wesley, a more centrist Democrat, won the nomination. I assume you, you think you would have won anyway, but how might the campaign have been waged differently? Well, we were prepared for either alternative. When we sort of started planning this, we didn't know if Wesley was going to be the victor or Angelitas was going to be uh, the candidate. But um, we would uh, uh, we, we set it up in such a way that we would do well. I, I think the difference would have been, I, I think Steve Wesley was more of a moderate. Um, I think we would have still won because it's the, who the governor wants, uh, who the people of the state want as a governor. It would have, we would have had to tactically probably run it a little differently, but we were prepared. Mm -hmm. and, and of course the key was, was hewing to the center for the most part. Well, yeah, the key was the key was sort of watching him sort of make Sacramento work, and then running a campaign that reflected that. And it wasn't a campaign just aimed at Republicans. It was a campaign aimed at Republicans, Independents, and discerning Democrats. Right. Okay. Very good. Thanks, Thank a lot, you. Matthew. Thanks. My pleasure. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.